Chief Executive Officer of InterClick. Michael, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. You realize that we almost never do CEO uh, uh, commercial, not commercials, CEO uh, interviews on this program. Yeah, I'm, I'm honored. I you know you. why. I got you nervous. Because <laughs> you got me nervous. CEOs always deliver a commercial for their company. And I don't do that on this program. Good. But I am interested in what you do. Interclick. Mm -hmm. You direct commercials to me personally, don't you? Explain it. Sure. Uh, so we have built ad technology that predicts uh, which ads consumers should receive when they go on various websites. I can sit right next to you on a computer, go to a certain website, and we'll get two very different experiences. I'll get different ads, and, and sometimes we can even get different content. So you, at Interclick, you know which websites I visit frequently, right? If they are within our, our media footprint or the sites that we work with. And you've got a gigantic media footprint, presumably. We do. We reach about 75% of the population. Okay, so you know what I'm looking at online. And having known that, you then direct individual ads to me, you think, which I might respond to. That's what you do. We do. So content is certainly a very valuable data point, but it's not the only valuable data point. So we will look at content and context, right. but we'll also look at Certain things like demographics and psychographics and occupational data. So uh, you, you are responsible for all these little pop-up things that I see. I, I go to a website, boop, boop, there it is. It will tell me about flights to Australia or something. That's you. Uh, no, that's, that's not us, actually. No pop-ups. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> we're, we're, we're all the banners within the, the pages. So when you go to a, when you go to a web page, there's usually two or three ads. Uh, they're, they're embedded in the page. We'll work directly with sites. We're not... Uh, uh, popping up ads or we're not uh, embedding ads in any kind of software. How do you make your money? Sure, so we work with the uh, Fortune 1000 brands and their digital agencies of record. They pay you? They do. Okay. Um, uh, they, they communicate to us up front what their objectives are. So wait a second, wait a second, I've got to get this right. So you're saying to say IBM or Toyota or somebody, you say, hey, that guy Stuart Varney, he might buy a Toyota because we've watched what he does on the internet. So we'll sell, you, uh, we'll sell you information which tells you where Stuart Varney is going to click and what kind of ads he's going to click on. Is that it? Well, we don't know your name. We don't know Stuart Varney from Adam. You know, Adam. Uh, you know, it's, it's user XYZ123 based on a bunch of anonymous data that we have in okay. your Okay, but you know, this cookie. guy who's got, is in front of that, TV, that computer right there, you know what he's going to do. And yeah. that's the information you're selling. You are selling information. We're selling our ability to predict who the most qualified consumers are. Do you know how much money I make? No, and I don't want to know. No, 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 no I'm not, not going to tell you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, but do you know, how, how much you know about me? Not my name, but my characteristics. How much you know about me? Uh, I'd say on average, there's somewhere between uh, 15 and 20,000 unique and discrete data points uh, that we have on consumers. Is anywhere As individuals? As individuals, yes. That would have to include how much money you make, how many houses you own, what kind of car you drive, how tall you are, how fat you are. Um, you know, the, you're squirming here. Not, not, I don't know no, why. I mean, uh, fine. You, don't, don't, be, don't be upset. I mean, no, I mean, if you know that about me, say so. You, you have to understand that we're looking at this through the lens of the marketer and trying to determine what data points are going to drive out, uh, successful outcomes for them. So how much money you make, that, that may be uh, uh, an important data point, but how much you weigh, certain things like that, where you live, certainly your name, that doesn't make a difference. It's really about your past preferences, where you've been online, the content that you read. We're trying to build anonymous profiles. Okay, and it's a profitable business, I take it. It is. Well, we were, we've been, a, a, prior to the sale to Yahoo, we were a publicly traded company. So How much did you sell it to, your, your company, to Yahoo? What was the price? Uh, it was $270 million. Did you fully own this company yourself? Yeah, I owned 100%. No, I'm kidding. We, we, were, a public, we were a public company. Uh, a uh, lot of shareholders. Uh, I, I was the, the founder along with my brother Andrew. How big a piece of the company did you have? Uh, I was about a 5% owner. 5%? So the, from that I can compute how much you have. <laughs> Excellent. Now, you, you're one of the very few CEOs ever to appear on this company. Would you come back? I would. Absolutely. Really? Only if you had me. You enjoyed this? This is great. <laughs> Michael Katz, Interclick. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank we do you. appreciate it. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you. Uh,